the most frequent scenario for uh, avoiding contrast administration or to reducing contrast administration is the patient that has chronic kidney disease. But it's true that with the more complex profile of patients that we see now in the cath lab, in large part coming from the shifting demographics uh, that bring more elderly people to the cath lab, but also people who have many concomitant uh, conditions, ventricular, depressed left ventricular ejection fraction, uh, or frail patients who have to undergo a complex interventions, it is more and more uh, imperative to be able to have a technology that allows you to deliver or to give as less contrast as possible. Yes, the dynamic coronary road mapping technology is, is a very interesting feature by which you have um, a moving image of the coronary arteries as a reference that actually is um, overlaid on the top of your fluoroscopy screen. So you can uh, beautifully steer your guide wires in the coronary tree without making contrast injections, or you can accurately position a device like an stent in a specific segment um, without uh, additional injections of contrast. So this is a very interesting technology that allows, um, has many other uh, advantages, and that certainly decreases enormously the amount of contrast needed to perform interventions. Let me show you how it works in clinical practice. This is a patient with this uh, difficult bifurcation, mainly because of the, the takeoff of this diagonal branch. It was very difficult to wire it, even using a double lumen microcatheter. Now, you can see that all these maneuvers, now using a retrograde wiring technique with the, the wire that is bended, are performed without making contrast injection. I'm just using the silhouette of the arteries that is delivered by dynamic coronary road mapping to make sure that the wire is engaging properly the diagonal branch. So I can, you know, uh, probably perform all these over 10, 15 minutes without making a single uh, contrast injection, just using the first one. And it's very easy to understand that this reduces enormously the amount of contrast required for the intervention. The DCR for contrast study is a multicenter prospective uh, randomized trial with, with the objective of assessing whether the dynamic coronary road mapping reduces the total amount of iodinated contrast uh, given to the patient during PCI compared with a control group that is not using this specific uh, tool for guidance. Ultimately, the end of the study is to verify if PCI safety can be increased by reducing the total amount of contrast given to the patient during PCI. We have centers participating in four different countries. We have our own hospital participating in Spain, then the New York Presbyterian Hospital and the University of Colorado Hospital in the US. We have the Grand Hospital of Charleroi Saint Joseph in Belgium. We also have the Hadassah Medical Center in Jerusalem, Israel. So far, the study has enrolled 97 patients uh, of a total of 394 expected uh, patients in the study. And we expect to end the enrollment of patients in the second quarter of 2021. Last year, we've seen an increase in the complexity of the patients that we treat in the CAT lab, not only in terms of anatomical complexity, but also in terms of biological complexity. We have more elderly people, we have patients who have more depressed left ventricular function. We have patients who, have, uh, who overall are frail and that have to undergo uh, major interventions. My personal impression is that uh, in the post-ischemia trial, we are going to see less patients with a low risk profile in the cath lab. Those probably may be candidates to undergo medical treatment as a first um, choice of treatment. But we are going to see more and more complex patients in whom, for one reason or the other, medical treatment is not a good alternative, or they have major symptoms, or they have a complexity of coronary artery disease that requires hospitalization for improvement of prognosis. And in this context, I believe that this technique can be extremely useful, not only to reduce the total amount of contrast uh, administrated in PCI, but also to serve to a specific uh, objectives in complex PCI, like treatment of CTOs, for example, or other situations where injection of contrast uh, is not uh, recommended during specific parts of the procedure. In addition to sparing contrast, 
the visualization of the ashray at the same time of the instruments that you are manipulating is very useful, for example, to correlate um, an intracoronary imaging device, for example, IBUS, with the location of the coronary segment, or to place accurately a stent in a situation that needs visualization of the coronary tree.